there good people i hope you all are doing great from your respective classes thank you so much for always joining in for your love your support and always for sticking tune i hope you all are doing great and welcome back to our today's video and if you are new here kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our family which is sussex squad forever whenever i come across some exclusive some titles some stories i'm always left so much bewildered because i'm like what okay so that's what they want funny thing enough it won't happen like you know that whole shock mode because you're like whatever they're starting is very much obvious and evident won't dare happen because why not why should it times and a whole story prince harry will willing to return to a temporary royal role in support of his father definitely never happening even if harry was that one person who feels i know he he feels so sorry for his father and would love so much to represent him or just step up for this particular time most especially of this period of theirs that they are facing but trust me you he's not ready he doesn't want to just close his eyes and open it and just find himself anywhere close to that particular toxic institution whatever they did to him what they made him go through it's one thing harry won't dare forget today tomorrow or even the day after tomorrow and one thing i believe this entire will harry return we won't let harry return narrative of the past few days of the royal family was just a counter programming to the invictors games one year to go event it was simply meant to take media space away from what's happening back in canada but fortunately it didn't happen fortunately people didn't dare buy their narrative at all because we're like why not why should it happen like says who I don't know what's your take on this but from my own perspective this was all a counter programming thing they thought by doing so or by saying so at some point it it will work for them but it didn't favor them even at any particular point just allow me to take you through a short article and you have a chance an opportunity to just comment some of your thoughts down below for years now prince harry has exhibited a very strong i'm never going back energy he loves california he loves being able to protect his wife and children he loves that he's not part of the 24 7 toxicity in the uk during his good morning america interview which aired on friday harry said some interesting things like in quote i love every single day in america and i have my own family when asked about the windsor it has been abundantly clear for a long time that harry is happy where he is but with his father's cancer treatment harry would like to see more of king charles these days which is why he also told good morning america in quote i have got other trips planned that will take me through the uk or back to the uk so i'll stop in and see my father as much as i can he will for sure spare some time he will for sure just have some time spared just for him to spend time with his father but him going back as a working royal never happening he has better things to to kind of just work to he has better things to kind of focus on so they can continue having this whole nightmare of having or wishing so much to have harry back but him going back there as a working royal definitely never happening i took that to mean that harry will continue to make the effort to have some kind of personal reconciliation with the neglectful father he clears adores unfortunately the neglectful father is also a giant a hole who needs to keep feeding the rub the rubbed british media machine which probably goes a long way to experiencing this mess and they haven't seen it yet 
mind you they haven't seen it yet because i have very much positive hopes that things won't work well for them the same way they're not ready to see harry making it they're not ready to see harry continue imagine how successful whenever he's out about his business as doing right doing good they tend they tend to see that as kind of form of him kind of being a you know wanting a show or for something but it's very evident the uk press itself are the ones very much desperate they are the ones very much obsessed and their desperation is leading them to their own own mess they need to see that it's almost as if the half in situation solution that the successes suggested in 2020 is now suddenly a good idea for years later weird in any case this did not come from any harry or anyone close to him the source is the same one who insisted to the times in quote, the meeting last week with his father at Clarence House, at which the Queen was also present, did not provide time for a detailed discussion. Now suddenly Camilla was in the room. After it was Camilla herself who went ahead and stated that it's like Harry wanted her nowhere close, never wanted to be in the same space with her. See how they are contradicting themselves. Then why did she return to that cracked patronal yacht and naive about Harry kicking her out of the room? Contradiction. This is what we call like they literally have no idea. Today they say this, the next day they say something else and they continue with the same, the same, same plot. My harness to good guess is that Charles was the one who said something like, we could really use you around the stage. And Harry said something non-committal like, we will see per. He's such an amazing man. Of course, he wouldn't dare say something that he, know, he knows very well. His father wouldn't love to hear it at this particular moment over his situation. No matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, there is one thing that is very much evident harry is never going back there as a working royal they had an option an alternative to keep them in that presence but no they turned the offer down and now they're getting back to that definitely not happening so they need to understand harry's never getting back harry's never going back as a working royal harry will be there when his father needs him in terms of wanting a discussion with the son but what the media is so much anticipating for definitely never happening the other candidate for who was the source of this is of course prince william the only reason i don't think william is the one behind this particular story is because william would have centered himself and made sure that a source said something about of course william despises his brother and will never forgive him the story isn't centered enough on incandescent rage, is what I'm saying. Anyway, some people, uh, weird things are happening over there. And uh, as always, I hope Harry stays uh, far away from them. That's our prayer. That's what we want so much from him. Like for him to just distance himself from people who are not of positive impact to his life at all i don't know what's your take on this kindly just comment down below and that was our today's video and hoping to see you guys in our next video